This is this just they've done such a great job with it. That's a large magic card. I saw the trainer guys, I'm going back. And no, you're not bragging at all. I mean this game is easy. It's very, very quick to do. It's simple. I've been playing Pokemon since 1996, so I'm day one Pokemon. I'm old school Pokemon player, and oh my gosh, I'm almost out of PPs. And it's not difficult to play this game at all. If somebody wants to play Tentacle Kinks. Uh, by the way, Growlithe, that's in Spitfire. Nah, are you, sh are you sure, bro? Why don't Growlithe Spitfire? Darn it, not, why do you have to have two Pokemon? Man, my Eevee... Oh, okay, my Eevee's good. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go with one more Swirly and then... Hit it up with a... Ice-type move to see if we can finish this off. Because I need to keep the PPs on me. Almost got a complete Pokedex, which is nice to see. Listen, just a heads up. Growlithe doesn't spit fight. Fine. I agree. Does it breathe fire? Like, its breath is pretty, pretty lit. What's up, Link Jr.? Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, please don't forget to star me. Let's go ahead and hit it up with the glitzy glow because it's... Gonna die! Aw, oh, fuck you. I thought I would have done more damage than that. I knew it wasn't super effective, but still. Alright, fine. Sparkly Sword is. The PPs are gonna be done. The chat is pretty lit today in live stream, so I'm happy for that. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. Alright, aww. Uh, I only got Freezy Frost now. If I tell you, it's a spoiler. But it's not a. Oh, okay, no, I think I know exactly what you're talking about, Silver. Just stay alive, Evie. Um, we're, we're cool enough for Sizzly Slide to finish this off, am I right? Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh, that would have been bad if it didn't. Have I died yet? I just subscribed like three days ago, and you're super awesome. Well, thank you very much. That means a lot. Have I died yet? No, I haven't died yet, guys. You haven't killed me. I'm almost dead. I got 150 HP. Just to let you guys know, if you subscribe... Well, I'm not going to ask you guys to donate. But if you guys subscribe, I take damage. And you can become the next boss of this live stream. Just letting you guys know. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Alright, so we're at Steve Home at. I'm just not ready to go on it yet. I absolutely love how you can just surf around... On a surfboard, Beyonce style, and I just don't even have to worry about having to face off against any Pokemon. I can simply do what I want. Dude, that tentacle wants me, bro. Seafoam Islands. Oh fuck, I have to do Seafoam Islands? Really? Nah. Oh, are you serious? Oh, you're, you're so cool. Alright, time to go where I wanted to go now. A little wiggle. Back to Pallet Town. Because I was I don't want to do Sleep Foam Islands yet. I was gonna do the legendary birds after I get my seventh badge. No, after I get my eighth badge, sorry. Before I go up to Elite Four. So I know I can get Articuno and Zapdos right now, but I'm waiting. I'm gonna bypass and go this way. We're completing all the water today, though. Speaking of died, when I versed blue, I lost the first turn. Dude! Bro! See? See? That was the first time I lost in this game. It was, that, was that the first time you lost as well? See, he was difficult at first. Until I was like, alright. Let's go to the Pokemon Center and heal up my Pokemon. And then we got this. Ooh! Oh, shit. This Pidgeotto's, like, ganging up. But I don't, I don't want to capture a Pidgeotto right now. 
Yeah, see, that was the first time I ever died in this game, was to him. That, it was crazy. I was like, is this game going to get more difficult? I was, I was actually happy about it, though. I was happy I died. I was like, this game's actually going to get more difficult. This is good. This is what I want to see. And then... I died a couple times in Team Rocket's Lair, but it's still code because I was stupid. But other than that, the game has been cakewalk since. Oh, again, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting to show you my star you. I think it's this one. Yay! My shiny star you. Oh, fuck. I moved it. It actually looks so freaking cool. Where'd you go? Look at this. That's probably one of the coolest looking shinies you're going to get in the game. Absolutely cool. I was so happy I saw it. I was like, no way. Look at that. That's one of the coolest shinies you're going to get. Like some of them turn green. It's like, okay, cool. It's a green Pokemon, but it's not, it's not as cool as that. Oh, you're going to combo it. Yeah. I mean, shiny stone, 31 times combo and all that stuff as well as the lures, that's when it gets true. Yeah, the grammar's green, the Q-bone's green. I mean, they're cool, but they're not amazing. Oh, fuck, I'm so, I still didn't go learn my, my grass type moves. And my electric type moves. Oh, well. Oh, this guy's got five Pokemon. I think this is the, no way, he's got all Magikarp. I think he's got all Magikarp. This is the one dude. This is the douche. Alright, so I haven't seen one of these guys up until now. Back in old school Pokemon, you used to see those stupid fishermen with like five magic cards. I'm like, what's the point of it? This is the guy. This is the guy. It's like such a waste of time. You get no experience points. He doesn't do anything. It's so bad, but I'm so happy in the newer games, they've reduced the numbers of how many Magikarp groups there are. There's not that many. I think there's only one in this game. I really do hope they go to Nintendo Switch from here on out, because this system's absolutely amazing for Pokemon games. Like, even playing this on the go, it's really fun. Not gonna lie. Seriously, what's the point of this dude? Do you, why are you even fighting me? Just tell me you got five magic cards. I'll give you a high five about it. <laughs> they just die, dude. Like, can you trade me your magic card? I'll give you a Gyarados. Just to make you a little bit more challenge. Whoa, time out. These are level 42 magic cards. How do you not have a Gyarados? Why do you keep stopping the evolution process, man? And how are you getting these to level 42? What is this? Oh, this dude. Oh, no, he can just go capture them because they're, they're level 42 in the water right now. But still, what is he doing? Evolve him into Gyarados, you dummy. My friend leveled up his Golbat to max level because his favorite Pokemon is Crobat and the face he made when I told him Golbat can't evolve. Are you serious? Oh, I, I gotta... Damn it, I shouldn't have... Uh, your bro, your friend thought he could get a Crobat in Generation 1. No oh, Gen 1 Crobats, what is he thinking? Alright, so we got a coach trainer, but we got another fisherman to fight. I, that, that would, I would have loved to see his face. His or her face, I would have loved to see. Oh, it's a his, okay, cool. I would have loved to see his face about that. That's, that's hilarious. I mean, Crobat's a cool Pokemon, but it's not, not amazing. Oh, that's hilarious, though.
Well, I'm assuming he didn't start back in the old school days, because he would have known that though. Alright, I'm gonna have to use Sparkly Squirrel because I'm using too much of my psychic move right now. Alright, this fisherman's cooler than the Magikarp guy. Get a Seedra. What else you got? Vaporeon to level 38, that's good to see. Rhyhorn to 35, almost got right on. Gyarados, nice. No, he only played... okay. Now he's really new to the game. Let's just hit it up with Sparkly so we'll see what we can do here. This game's making me want to get back into Pokemon Pokemon Go on the mobile. I used to make videos on that. But this game's making me want to get back into it just because it's just... The reason why I don't play it anymore is because I don't have the time. Why is this uh, Gyarados so OP? Because I just never have the time to do it. But I feel like I want to make time to play it now. Right on... Hit. Oh, I know. Damn it, my Eevee's dead already. Yeah, this is gonna be bad. Go ahead, do what you can, E. Uh, Flareon. Do what you can. Can you double edge it to the to the sea? Double edge it to the sea. Yeah, you actually killed it. Oh, I'm shot. That's cool. Good job. Oh, I almost got a Charizard. Oh, alright. Um, well, this sucked. But, I'm gonna go back to Pallet Town. You fucked. I know, uh, never mind. I was, I've never seen this. Okay, yeah. I was like, wait, can I not use my... Okay, yeah, I can. Alright, I gotta make life easy. My, I, I'm pushing Eevee too hard. It is it is a really high level, because it's the only Pokemon I've used this whole time. I gotta make life easy, though. I'm, I'm stupid right now. I was just messing around with the new moves my Eevee could learn, but... We gotta go back to the good moves. I figured out which moves that I wanted to learn, so let's go. Let's do this. Oh, wow. All right, so you, teach me. So, Sappy Seed compared to Bouncy Bubble. Bouncy Bubble beats Sappy Seed. Sappy Seed is absolute trash. I need Buzzy Buzz, just because I need an electric type move to finish off these water types for now. I love Freezy Frost, I love Sparkly Swirl. I do not need Glitzy Glow at the moment, because I've already completed gyms that require me to have Psychic types, so I'm gonna get rid of that for now. And then I'm also going to do something I've never wanted to do. Actually no. Because I will be relearning Glitzy Glow and Batty Bad. But I'm not going to do that now. I'll wait a little bit. Because I don't want Buzzy Buzz. I just need it for right now just because it's useful. Alright. And the best move is the Fire type move. By far. The Fire type move is really good. Slippery, whatever the hell it is. I don't even know what it's name is. I can't think of it, but it's really good. It does so much damage. It leaves a 100% burn effect. It is way too good. All right, let's go back to the, uh, the coach. This is going to be a lot easier now. I do apologize, guys, but we're good. We're good to go. You're not coaching me nothing. I've been playing since 1996. Who do you think you're talking to? P 
Tam. Get him a choke. Right when I get rid of my psychic type moves. Great. Got him a choke. I'm, I'm serious. Why? Alright, you know what? Let's have some fun with Freezy Breath. Real quick. I just thought my luck would have frozen it, but. How do you deal with that much? Alright, fine. Sissy Slide it is, because it's OP as hell. Pikachu has a move called Zippy Zap that is always a crit. Oh, damn. That's kind of OP. That does a lot of damage then. Why? Eevee, why are you. I didn't want to go to the Pokemon. Why are you taking so much damage? Bubble Beam. Hell yeah, you know what's up. Bubble, I'm sorry. I have to. I like Bubble, but not that much. Oh, okay. That makes sense then. I mean, it doesn't do... It's okay. It has to crit to make it even worth it. If it didn't crit, it wouldn't be... Okay, this is a jinx. This is 100% adios amigos. This is like... It's like... Did you even have health, Jinx? What's going on here? Alright, cool. Level 57. Eevee. OP. Talking OP. What? No, why, why can't you cunt? Come on, relax. Give me something I can one shot. I love how I learn Buzzy Buzz and I'm not fighting off against any water type. Anymore. Can you freeze anything? Ow. Oh no. Well, let's get a burn off before you die. Please don't hit. Yes. Get a burn off before you die. Yeah, the rest of my Pokemon should be able to finish this. This is crazy how I can't... I'm struggling right now to face off against some of these trainers. Kind of awkward. Also, it has a flying type move that can flinch. And a water type move that can par a water type move that can paralyze. That is interesting to see. Does e does the Pikachu have as many choices as Eevee's? Damn, Double Edge does so much damage. The recoil is nasty, but still, I finally got a level 40 Flareon. This is good to see. That's what I thought. Because, I mean, Pikachu really can't go that good. You know what would have been a better present? Fully healing my Pokemon. But since you didn't do that, I gotta go back to Pallet Town. Like, why couldn't you fully heal my Pokemon? Why do you have to be so mean to me? I'm assuming you're gonna heal my Pokemon, right? Yeah. I took a nap. I took a nap, and I'm ready to go back. Alright, so now this should be easy, because I'm not facing off against any coaches. About to go get my sea skimming on. Skim it up, skim it down, skim it all around. I saw that eradicate. I saw that. Alright, it's time to spam A and check every freaking rock. Yep, found one. <laughs> My Pikachu looks like a secret agent. I haven't found a, a key, a marquee outfit yet. Like, I haven't found an outfit that I really, really absolutely enjoy. I keep going back to the default.
Alright, I hope this isn't as long as the other side. I really do. It has shaded sunglasses with a formal shirt and a bow tie. Oh my god. I like the sunglasses. I haven't, there's two that I haven't purchased. I want to put a pair on uh, Eevee. But I hope to find like a pinkish uh, a pinkish colored pair of sunglasses. There's dawn and dusk and don't spoil it to me yet. I will, I'll see it when I get there. You didn't one shot it. Like what the hell? I'm gonna use my fire tap just because. Yes, yes, I do. I've actually looked it up. I don't. I haven't. I've looked at the styles too. I still think this is my favorite style, the original. Deidre. Alright, I can take this on. Buzzy Buzz. That. See, how do I one shot a Seedra? And I can't one shot a seal. Game, fix your stats. The seizure is ten times more difficult than a stupid seal. Oh, what are you, do dude, bro? What are you doing in the middle of the sea, fam? You can't swim. And if you don't have a water type Pokemon or a Lapras or a Blastoise, I mean, I know they're both water type Pokemon, but still, you gotta eradicate, bro. How the hell did you get here? I know for a fact your second Pokemon is not a Lapras or a Blastoise. So how'd you swim out here, Baxter? Good job, Eevee. That's why I like the freaking slippery, slopey fire type. There's so much damage. It's an Onyx. You're making your case worse. He used his fat belly to swim there. Well, his fat belly must be a good raft because... Oh, fuck. I don't have my water type moves anymore. Oh, no. Freezy Frost. Let's see how much damage you're going to do. This is bad. Oh, ground type. My bad. I'm dumb. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Well, you're kind of fat, bro, and uh, you're not getting back home, I will tell you that much. Alright, time to face off against another dude. Oh, when am I going to get to Cinnabar? Oh, are you playing as, we, as, uh, as you're tuning in? So you're, uh, right before the Pokemon League? Three Pokemon, alright. I still can't one shot you guys. Sad. Alright. I, I I know exactly what part of the cave you're at. Have you uh, faced off against Moltres yet? Go ahead and use Sizzle Slide. I see. Golda. Should be able to handle this. Nope. Not what I wanted to see. I hear ya. I'm going to try to complete my Pokédex as much as I can before the Elite Four. See what I can do. Tentacool, okay. Not a huge fan of Tentacool and Tentacool. I really don't like these Pokémon at all. Did you really have to use Barrier, bro? Ah, <sighs> now I can't two shot.
Thanks a lot. Hit you up with the scissors side just because it's kind of pointless to me now unless there's a really another coach out there, but I got it. One Pokemon I got pushed to hate was Mr. Mime. I mean, I don't mind Mr. Mime, it's just I'm not a fan of it. But Tentacle and Tentacle, they're just... They're nasty, nasty looking Pokemon. All right, fish. Ooh, water stone. All right, Cinnabar Island. I know I still have the remainder from Cinnabar into Seafoam Islands, but Cinnabar Island, can you please just let me finish and get to you? I will be doing the uh, the route from Cinnabar to Seafoam during tomorrow night's live stream before I do anything at Cinnabar. So that's where we're going to start tomorrow night is Cinnabar to Seafoam route and then we go into Cinnabar. You're at the Elite Four, alright. Are you going to be taking them on right now? Breezy Frost should actually finish this. About to train my Pokey to level 56. Alright. Um, what Pokemon do you have on your team? Like, what's the 6 that you like to use? I think I just got a Charizard. Yay! Today was worth... Welcome, Charizard. My favorite, one of my favorite Pokemon. Besides the Evolutions, this is my favorite Pokemon. Wing attack, really, bro? Really? So, with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, exchange you for something else. Because you've already evolved. Pikachu, Nidoqueen, Pidgeot, Dobro, Hitmonlee, Arcanine. That's actually a really good team. Uh, Pokédex number, please. You can now remove... I didn't mean to do that. Alright, so. I need Ivysaur, I need Charmander and Charmeleon, I need Squirtle, I'm evolving you into Blastoise, I need Metapod, I need Kakuna. Got that, got that, got that. I want Pikachu and Raichu. I need Nidorina, Nidorino and Nidoran. Uh, you're through stone. I'm ignoring my Alolan Pokemon. You're through a stone. I've got you done. I've got you done. I need Diglett and Dugtrio. I need a Meow. I need a Psyduck. I need a Machop. I gotta evolve you through trade. Got you guys completed. I'm ignoring my Alolan Pokemon. I got you completed. I need a Drowsy and a Krabby. I'm ignoring my Alolan Pokemon, so I now need. A Cubone and Marowak. I need a Starmie. So, yeah, I think that's the only one. Yep, that's the only one that I can evolve. So, I'm gonna put, I 
think this one's the non-shiny. Yeah, let's put the non-shiny in. Add to party. I need to evolve you into a Starby. And that's the last Pokemon that I have that I can't evolve with. I mean, that's the last Pokemon that I have that I can evolve through leveling means. So yeah, that's it. Huh. I think I fought against you. Yeah. So, the last Pokemon that I have to evolve through leveling methods is the Staryu. And the rest of the Pokemon are already in my uh, party. And the rest of them I either have to capture or evolve through stone or trading. So yeah. I either right now don't have the stone, but I know where to get it. Like for example, Moonstone, you gotta go to the moon, Mount Moon and uh, farm up some stones once per day. And that's pretty much it. I'm actually gonna mess around here. Nope, I'm not gonna mess around. This is side this. I got enough PP on this. Pull out this. My mouse for my computer. Go ahead and save this page and let's finish this guy off too nice by horn of 36 so you get about uh oh mega horn that's nice I'm not a fan of takedown, so peace. So, 36, so 37, 38, 39, 44, six more levels to go. Oh, six plus six, 12, I'm a dumbass. Oh, I hate when you can't think, can't do quicker maths. Cinnabar Island, where are you at? Where you at, Cinnabar? I need you. So many trainers on this route. I'm dying. <clears throat> I could use a star me right now. I'd love to start bringing in the Pokemon to this team that I actually plan on using. So I will be using Eevee, Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon. That's four. I don't know what my other two are going to be yet. I wish you could use seven Pokemon. Then I can put three starters, but that's not possible. That's not fair. Gen 1, man. Why do you have to have so many good Pokemon? Like, I love Gen 1. Like... Let's say there's a, I mean, there's 151 Pokemon from Gen 1. I love 145 of them. Like all the other gens, it's like, let's say there's 150. Wait, you can use your box? Oh yeah, you can use your box while you're at the Elite Four, can't you? That's so bad. They just set up teams for each one, if that's the case. But uh, yeah, like let's say there's other there's the other generations. Oh, that's so lame though. That makes the elite four so easy. You just set up specific six six teams for each one. 
But like Gen 1, I, let's say out of 151 Pokemon, let's just make it easier. Out of 150 Pokemon, I love 145 of them. And then you go into like all the other generations, I like at the most six of them. At the most, it's like not even, it's like pushing it. <clears throat> Gen 1 is just, I, I, I don't know why, I've always liked them. Actually, 145 is pushing it. I probably like 130. I'd be so sad if I saw another shiny star you. Keep seeing the same Pokemon. This this route is not. This route isn't full of life. Wait, is this Cinnabar? Yay! I have reached Cinnabar Island. Do you know what that means? You guys know what that means? I can heal up. I actually didn't use the starters they give you. Oh, damn. I always liked using the starters. I see. <laughs> Alright, well, I've got one more route to do before I take on Cinnabar Island, and that is this one. However, I gotta wake up early in the morning, so I will be ending it here. So for those of you that tuned in, thank you very much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys tomorrow during tomorrow's live stream. Again, subscribe if you're new around here. You will not regret it. I will catch you guys tomorrow night, and uh, again, peace out. Have a wonderful day.